Hi you guys. It is um, Saturday and it is the start of a three day weekend for me, holiday weekend. And so I started off my morning by watching a video that Richard Garay was doing um, using the gel press and so it really inspired me to um, get crafting and so I got this idea right off just from watching what he was doing um, and so I had to come into my craft room and get started on making a little Halloween project so um, Anyway, when you get on here, if you, um, well, even if you aren't somebody I know, but say hey and tell me where you're watching from. Um, I'm going to try to bring it up here on my iPad so I can see people's comments. Thanks so much for joining me. Okay, so yeah, I don't know what's going on with my hair today. Uh, I'm not even wearing hair, and for those that know me, you know it's been how many years now um, that I've been wearing hair because, well, I don't have very much as you can see, and so I'm being super, super brave uh, coming on here with this, whatever's going on up here with my hair. So, anyway... Hang on, because uh, let me turn my iPad down because that's not going to work. All right. Hey, Deborah. All right, so now I can see comments. Ooh, this project today has been so much fun. And I can't wait to show you what I did because. Some of it might be a little bit new um, for some of you. And we're going to, I'm playing with Halloween. So if you don't like Halloween, don't get discouraged because you can use the same techniques that I'm going to do today and, you know, put it uh, to use with your project. But I'm using this cute Halloween set, uh, Halloween silhouettes, and there are matching dies. And then, so I'm going to get started, and at the end I'll go over um, the items that I used. So I am going to reposition my phone so you can actually see what I'm doing. And this is always tricky for me, so bear with. And I'm going to do this. Okay. It's no good if you can't see what I am doing. All right. I'm trying to get my iPad going to again so that I can see what your comments and things are. Okay, let's see here. I might need to move this up. Oh, I know what I can do. Oh, there's some really weird music. I don't know if you can hear it. Really weird music playing on my I have my music on my TV going. All right. This might be too low. I don't have the whole setup like Richard does now where he's got two cameras so that he can talk into one and have the other one on his work. My iPad's not 
playing nice. I think this needs to be a little bit higher, you guys. Ooh, are you getting dizzy and seasick and all that happy hoo-ha? I hope not. All right. do not know what's wrong with my iPad. It, every way I turn it, it is crooked. So are you guys seeing this okay? Is it like not turned on the side? Hey Catherine. Do my hands look straight you guys or do I look sideways? I'm just going to go with it because I think that it's all right. All right, so I'm going to pull my gel press over and if you haven't played with a gel press or know what it is, I'm going to show you more about it when I'm done. But. Sorry, I just want to get this. It's not going to work if you guys can't see it good. Okay. So what I have is whipped cream ink. And I'm going to just put it all around here. What makes this fun is that our ink is a blend of pigment and dye ink. So when you're doing stuff like this, it just tends to work a little bit better because it's that fusion of both inks. Okay, so I've got my ink all over there. And then, do you see this stuff? It You find it in the building uh, materials section, probably at whatever, like Pierre, Fred Meyer, Walmart, whatever. It's really sticky on one side. I think it, they use it maybe on drywall or something. I'm not sure. So I'm not going to put the sticky side down because I don't want any um, residue from that to get on my gel press in case it's not copacetic. All right, so I'm just going to press it down because I want that texture. And what Richard was using today was the back of his, the back of the block with the grid lines. And I thought that I had this stuff, and that's what I bought it for, was to do funky things like this with. And I thought, oh, I can use that. So I am. Okay. So, I'm going to set this aside. Ew, winky fingers. Let me wipe my fingers off. And I'm going to grab, I have some big bubble wrap. So, I'm just going to put that on there. I really didn't need to ink up the whole gel press, but hey. I did, so it's all right. And I'm just going to wipe that off so I don't set it somewhere or set something else on it. And get white ink all over everything. All right. Ooh, it looks like a lot of fun on there to me. Okay. So now what I have is a piece of black licorice cardstock. I have cut it uh, three and a half inches by six and a half inches, and I'm going to be making a tag. And I'm just trying to figure out where I want to lay it. I think I'm going to lay it right here. I'm 
and it doesn't matter that I'm getting ink on the back side of it because it's not going to show at the end. So there you can see what happened. So cool. You can see the grids from the that tape and the bubble wrap design. Let me set that aside for just a minute. I'm not going to wipe this off completely because, well, I guess I can. I don't know that I'm going to be using it anymore today. This is so cool, and it's just what it looks like, a big slab of gel. And it comes with, like, clear um, acetate sheets over the top and bottom. And you pull those off typically um, to use it. But I, I just leave the bottom one on. Um, yeah, I just leave it on. And I'm going to let that dry. And then before I put it away, I'll put the, the other one on the top. Okay, so now let me bring this back in. I'm going to bring this back and on the paint side I'm just going to set it down I mean the ink side and see if I can pick up any of that yeah there's still a little bit on there that ink just for a little more added layers okay So now I have done one earlier, and you can see I cut the tips off up there. So I'm going to turn it over and line it up so I can cut those corners off because we're making a tag and I want them to match. Matchy, matchy. There we go. They don't have to be perfect, but there we go. All right. So now I'm going to let that dry. And we will work on some other stuff. So again, this is the set we're using, Halloween Silhouette, and I've got the matching dies. There they are. And I'm going to use first the candy corn. So I have already cut out white, and I stamped three of them in Lemon Drop, Citrus Cooler, and then I just cut out the white. And so I've put two of them together already because I wanted them to be the colors like candy corn. And I saved one to put together so you can see what I did. So I just took and cut off the color that I wanted. And I'm using a little bit of our craft glue. I love this stuff. Okay, that's what baby wipes are for. All right, just get it lined up on there. Looks pretty good. 
And then for the orange, I am just going to take the middle piece. Some candy corns are the Indian corn version and have the brown tips there. I love candy corn. Mm. Of course, I just like candy in general pretty much, but I do love me some candy corn. And we have already had a bag of it this year because Halloween candy comes out in August now, or at least it did around here. Okay, so I'm going to stick that on there. And it will match the other two that I did. And now because it's going on this Halloween tag and I want it to look a little grungy, I'm going to take oatmeal cookie and a piece of uh, our sponge. And I'm just going to distress around the edges. aside. What is next? Let's do Mrs. Witchy Poo here. And I've got some whipped cream cardstock and black licorice ink. let it sit there for a second so the paper has time to soak up that ink. Eek! Okay. I see a little splotch right there, but that's okay because we're going to die cut her out. It will be fine. And I need a clean wipe because that one has all that white ink on it. So with the black licorice, I think I need to re-ink my pad. It's not quite as juicy as some of these newer ones, but I have used it a few times. This is so cute because it's got Halloween and the black cat and all kinds of spooky things in the letters and numbers. Okay, there we go. Do you guys clean your stamps or do you just ink them up and let them be? I have to clean mine and they all have to go back in their spot. And that's just the way it is. All right. Let's get this stuff out of the way. And 
I'm going to bring over my amaze machine real quick so we can cut those out. are crooked. That's because I'm trying to do this left-handed and in an awkward position. All right, let's give it a go. Gonna cut out that little boo boo. Ooh, she's so cute. Okay. So now we have all the elements. I think I want to do the same thing with these. I want for the top. I think I like this one better. Okay, I'm bringing in some silk because, you know, got to make it pretty. All right. I've got electric lime and, of course, sparkle silk. I want to get all that good frostiness mixed in. sloppy at this you guys so I tend to get it all over the place hang on I want to I love, I love it. Love that chartreuse kind of green. It's perfect Halloween y. Yes. Love, love, love it. All right. And we gotta have sparkle on there. Ooh, and when it dries, it's so pretty and frosty. It's 
looking a little spooky. Can't have enough sparkle. Okay. Pretty, pretty. And I think I am going to heat it with my heat tool just to help it dry a little bit faster. Oh, I just love how frosty it gets. Okay. I am going to attempt to punch a hole as centered as I can get it here. Mm. All right, not too bad. Now, I have a piece of box. Guess where, what was inside. Hmm, all right. And the reason why I have that is because I'm making this to be like a decoration. And so I want it to be sturdy, right? So I'm going to just put some of our adhesive on here. Come back here. I don't want it on there. Okay. I've cut this to be slightly smaller than the tag because, because I did. There we go. And I'm just going to put it on here like this for the front. Oops, I almost put the front to the middle. That would not have been a positive and happy experience. All right, our tag is now a tag. So cool, Eek. All right, what did I do with the little thingy? I'm always losing those, okay. There we go. Candy corns. guys all doing for fun this weekend? I know Catherine's doing a fun show in Sisters Oregon and she's got her cards there. It looks like a blast. So I hope she's getting some good sales out of that. All right, let me grab my foam squares because we are going to pop up these ones.
I did not even make a sample, you guys. I had it in my head. I had pieces, some of these pieces ready, but I didn't make a sample. So this is just fun, fun, fun for me too. Okay? It is. All right. Now, I've got Toil and Trouble Buttons. These are in the Holiday Mini, and that's what these stamps are from also. Let's see what kind of trouble we can make with these. And I've got Black Twine, because I like to... Buttons have to have thread. Right? That's what I think. Okay, get in there. Maybe I should have put Halloween music in the background. It's just a little too early for that, I think. Let's see, I have uh, Soundscapes, that's what's playing. Mood music. Did I put it on the wrong side? No, I think it's fine. I'm just debating. I think the little black one is going to go on there. Do I want the littlest one or the medium? Looks like it's going to be that one. can do it I know I can yes I just stuck it in my mouth all right you guys if I can oh, I think I got it What's the most boring thing you guys watched all day? Oh, that was when Jana was trying to tw tie twine in her buttons. 
Mm -hmm. All right. Now let me grab my blue dots. going to put a couple on there because I just feel that's a little more secure. All right. Thanks for the love, you guys. I appreciate that. journey glue dots because they come out all individual like that. They're so much easier to apply. You don't get them stuck to your fingers quite as easy. One more technique to show you that might be something new, so stick around. Oh, now the thing's all staticky. There we go. Okay, and that again was the journey dots that I stuck those on with. Let me get some of this stuff out of the way. Okay, this is... Let me pull this up a little bit. Okay, this is my heat embossing board. All it is is a piece of um, like a mat board, and I've wrapped it obviously in foil, and I tape it on the back. And I've got just a little clothespin here. And I have cut a length of our new um, special day organza white ribbon. So you get 20 yards on the roll. There's a, a generous amount. And now we're going to have some fun with it. Um, so I'm going to bring back out... Um, lemon drop ink and my uh, smallest little D-sized stamp block. Things are about to get messy. All right. So I'm going to put it on the ink pad and not with your grid side, okay? Press it down. If your pad is not very wet, you might want to re-ink it before you do this. So 
So now I've got lemon drop ribbon. I'm going to clean off my block real quick here. And why did I show you my heat embossing board? Because some fun is about to happen. All right. I'm just going to clip that on there and I'm going to bring my heat tool back over. And no, it's not just because I want to dry the ink. Now, if you don't use an embossing board like this and you try this technique, first of all, be super careful. And second of all, protect what is underneath, okay? Do you see the steam coming off or whatever it is? Maybe it's smoke. I don't know. I'm cooking bacon! I love doing this. It's so much fun and different ribbons will do different things. I've really only done it with this organdy kind of, or no, not organdy, organza kind of ribbons in the past. Um, so it's just kind of a try it and see what happens thing. And that's how I came upon it. I thought, well, I'm going to try this and see what happens. And so you can see what happens. Some, some ribbons will shrivel up really super tiny. And so it makes for a lot of fun texture. Okay, I think that's as good as that one's going to do. And it makes it a little uh, more stiff, obviously. So, I did orange earlier. And I did black licorice. So this one I did with citrus cooler. And this one I did with black licorice. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, it is. Had in mind what I wanted to do. Okay, 
there is the tag. And then probably uh, I will put some little doodah on the back so it can hang on the wall. And what I would like to do is give this away to somebody. So the first person that places, well, no, not the first person. Let me change that up. So for anybody who places a $50 order today, and today is what, September 2nd? If you place a $50 order today, I look at that as a win-win situation because when you place a $50 order with Fun Stampers Journey, you get a bloom benefit um, from the catalog and actually you can choose from our big catalog or the um, holiday one. Let me grab the holiday one. And the bloom benefits happen at different levels. And $50 being the, um, the smallest level. And then it goes from there. So, for instance, in the holiday catalog, you have the choice of the this Christmas leaf set or these cute um, glitter accent snow friends. And then in the bigger catalog, there are other choices. So not only if you spend $50 will you get a bloom benefit, um, you will get this tag. Um, and what else was I going to tell you? Oh, yeah, I want to show you all the products um, that I used today. So again, the stamp set that I used was the Halloween Silhouette and the matching dies. I use citrus cooler, lemon drop, oatmeal cookie, and black licorice inks. Electric lime and sparkle silks. Black twine and toil and trouble buttons. And the um, special day organza ribbon and whipped cream ink also. Journey dots. And we use the medium size foam squares and the craft glue. And then I wanted to show you um, how the gel press comes. So it comes in this box and mine got a little beat up when I brought it home from convention. Um, but I still keep it in there and then it comes with an instruction sheet. And if you go onto YouTube, um, you can find a ton of videos on things you can do with the gel press or um, uh, the gel press folks also have a Facebook page. And then last, I wanted to show you some cards, uh, just cards that recently um, I've made. So this was the last class I did for um, my August stamp group. And so that was fun. I thought it turned out kind of pretty. And then I went to Eva Bussum's house. She did a Northwest coach get together and she had two cards for us to make. One being this one, which is so adorable with these snow people. And we colored them with the, um, the Journey um, color burst pencils and the little dots. Everything is so fun. It was really fun. And we just went over, this is um, dry or embossed with an embossing folder and then we just ran over it lightly with the ink to get that design on there. So that one was really fun. And then we made this one, which was also beautiful. And I did the same, um, we had the option of doing the same thing with this raised um, piece in the background and then water the water uh, journey splash sheets for cutting out the snow flake and that's that new glass glitter so pretty 
it was all really fun. Let me flip this around so I can talk to you for a second. can don't mind mm, the mm -mm, what's ever going on up here just ignore it pretend it doesn't exist <sighs> anyway thanks for watching this this was a blast I had a blast making this cute Halloween tag I, I hope it gets to go home with somebody um if you have any questions about any of the things I used or or um, techniques that I did on here, if you didn't get to watch it all, I'll post this so um, you can watch the replay if you want or just, you know, fire me off a question. And I hope you guys have a great rest of this um, holiday weekend and that you get to do something fun. Um, tomorrow, I don't know, you may or may not know that I've started selling LuLaRoe as well. And you guys, I have only 30 some working days left of my job that I have been doing for almost 20 years. So I'll be, well, you know, you get kind of that melancholy feeling, or at least I have, about retiring. Not that I... I'm second guessing that uh, decision whatsoever but it's just you know you've been hanging out with these people most of them well some of them there's been a lot come and go but for a long time I've been in that place so it's gonna be a weird feeling to um, head on out of there but I'm so looking forward to having the time to do more of this fun stuff and uh, also doing the LuLaRoe I'm I'm having a ball with that it's just it's fun you know so I'm gonna be doing these two fun things um, and working in our Napa store here and there probably not so much okay because this stuff way funner if you ask me but you know I'll probably need to go make an appearance learn about it because I haven't really done that so much yet um, and I'm not gonna be selling car parts okay <laughs> Just kind of the paperwork stuff. And I will be wearing hair. I won't be going looking. I still can't believe I did this. That I had the braveness to come on with my mm -mm -mm going on. But I did. Because, hey, it's Saturday. I did put makeup on. I did do that. Uh, anywho. I get off on these tangents where I'm like trying to tell you guys goodbye. And then I'm blah, 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 off on something else. So, I think I'll really say goodbye now so I can go clean my house since I've got people coming here tomorrow to look at clothes. And I probably should have uh, my house straightened up so they can do that. And I will see y'all next time. Thanks for joining me. Somebody place an order so you can get this tag. Bye, you guys. <laughs>